Good morning, Columbia. It's uh, time to return that SPA's satellite to the customer, and uh, we're all set for the rendezvous. We look forward to doing that. Mark, this is one of the most exciting ways to return something to its sender, and uh, it's going to be a good day for us. Thanks. Columbia, Houston, we should be ready to tips up in about 10 minutes, but uh, we also uh, have some things to say about uh, weather and uh, landing options uh, when you're ready to copy. We're ready to copy that. Yes, Taco, the, uh, the weather folks have been continuing to uh, assess the uh, weather for the uh, next few days at the Cape. And it looks as though there's the possibility that uh, on flight day 17, which is currently your uh, landing day, and for a couple of days after that, that uh, the weather uh, may have deteriorated uh, at uh, the Cape. Uh, the possibility of a low pressure trough uh, developing north of Florida and moving into the area for Friday, bringing some uh, low cloud and rain and f staying around for a couple of days. Meanwhile, also on flight day 17, there's a possibility that the winds at uh, Edwards and Northrop uh, may be out of limit. So the situation is that uh, they're continuing to monitor the weather, and the MMT will be meeting later on today to decide on whether or not to go back to the original plan, which is to uh, land on flight day 16 when the weather forecast uh, conditions are good. The MMT will make that decision a couple of hours before your bedtime tonight. Meanwhile, what we've done is we've done some replanning just in case, and there are some replanning summary sheets included in your execute package uh, so that we can proceed with the rendezvous today as planned with no change but then begin to uh, take the necessary steps to be ready in case we do do a flight. Uh, so that we will be ready in case we have to do a flight day 16 landing. So we welcome your feedback uh, on those replanning pages. I'll copy. There'll be a handover. Wait. We copy all, Mark. And uh, let us think about it for a little bit and uh, see what kind of impacts that would have to us. And in OCA notes, I've already passed on to the entry flight director as well as uh, the chief of our office um, our thoughts about uh, further extension days for weather after uh, the nominal planned end of mission, i.e. day 17, which we are certainly up for. Houston, Columbia. Go ahead, Taco. Mark, you asked earlier this morning about crew desires concerning the uh, weather decision being made by the MMT uh, tomorrow morning, your time. And uh, we've got a synopsis of our uh, input, if you'd like to hear it now. Go ahead, Taco. We're ready. And while I'm reading you this, uh, Rommel's going to do block 3B if you're ready to watch that. And we're watching. Roger. Uh, here's our input to the MMT. Uh, we would prefer to proceed with the orderly conduct of the remaining events of this flight, including the... Um, the documentation of hatch conditions that have been sent up to us uh, and shoot for a landing on flight day 17. We have the prio, as you know. We've got the food. We've got fresh clothing. And we have an excellent crew attitude for tackling any weather extension day or days that would occur after flight day 17. So if that's clear to you, that's our input uh, to the MMT. 
Yes, Kapi Taco. A couple of things. One is that uh, it's possible the weather may uh, stay out of limits for several days, and that's something that uh, has to be taken into consideration. And secondly, should we go for the flight day 16 landing, uh, we would like to have your feedback on what you, whether you consider the replanned sheets feasible, the replanned timeline, timeline that we sent you up in the execute package feasible. Okay, we've just had a quick look at that so far uh, since we're getting into rendezvous checklist, but we'll put some more rain cells on it uh, in the next few minutes and let you know. Appreciate that, Taco. Good grapple on Orpheus Spas. And Columbia Houston, Tammy, a good uh, capture of uh, Spas once again. Columbia, great job uh, rendezvousing and uh, the prox ops to, uh, to get Spas. I guess we're back to a two body problem. And uh, Columbia, Houston, uh, you do have a go for Block 26 Bravo, disable rendezvous now. Thanks, Houston. We'll put that in work. And Houston, we're ready to go to RGPS low with the arm. Copy. And uh, now we're back with a live picture uh, of uh, the shuttle's robot arm attached firmly to the grapple fixture on the Orpheus Spa spacecraft. The uh, latching pins clearly visible on the right and left of the uh, spacecraft and the keel latch. Go ahead. Just a suggestion, but one thing that's possible is I could take out that yaw and get in a position intermediate between this one and the 3A position and uh, stop partway and probably get a good look with the camera at the indicators. Tammy, we like that plan. Okay, we'll put it in work. The discussion uh, ongoing between Tammy Jernigan operating the shuttle's robot arm and Bill MacArthur here in Mission Control is regarding the uh, latch indications on the uh, telescope's door. 
during the final preps for the retrieval of the uh, spacecraft, the uh, latch indications were not seen on the ground, although the team thinks that the door is firmly latched. There is a, uh, a flag that basically uh, will dictate that that hatch is definitely uh, locked in place. While the arm operations will continue for the next several hours with the uh, Orpheus Spa spacecraft in support of the uh, uh, Orbiter Space Vision System experiment, which is designed to help uh, the crew members okay, provide. Uh, go for deactivation and stow for the rendezvous tools. Copy, Bill. Understand uh, our GPS is all done with TCS. I'm checking on that uh, story. Okay, well I got you. The final APD, 33.79, CPU 61.09. We copy. And story, you do have a go for TCSD Act. And again, the uh, crew will, for the next several hours, will be conducting the Orbiter Space Vision System uh, experiment with the uh, Orpheus spas on the end of the robot arm to help uh, uh, provide uh, data and collect data on precise um, movements of the uh, spacecraft in terms of uh, determining relative position, attitude, and rate in uh, using uh, small dots that are located on the spacecraft and the orbiter's uh, closed-circuit television system with the payload bay cameras, the views such as this one.